Well, greetings everybody, this is Imperator and I'm bringing you the show as ever, I believe for the first time on Romanian YouTube and uh, I don't know if this is the first uh, in the Eastern European YouTube but I'm bringing you Rise Son of Rome. Well, this is a game I have enjoyed playing and uh, now I'm filming uh, as well the gameplay so that you may watch as well because this is a great game all in all it's not an rpg but still a great combat game and uh, for a fan of ancient rome it's the perfect pick the perfect choice but now for this first episode let's watch the cutscene Well, of course, I am, I am going to be the nice guy and I won't give any spoilers. But anyway, even for myself, I have played the game. But, uh, you know, every single time I discover something new... Oh, you can cry for help, Emperor. But... The soldiers have got more important jobs to do that. I, Nero, Augustus, Germanicus, command that you send me your anger No, the soldiers have got way better jobs to do at this point of time. Just look at this. Oh, axe the face. Mallet in the back. This is crazy. That's full. Why? Because I played this. The soul is full because I played this game before, and the upgrades out there. I could do nothing against this, but well, better executions, better combat scenes, and so on. And more spectacular sword fight. And there they are. Oh yeah, I'm going to deflect your attacks. And I'm going to break now your guard. Oh, you're dizzy. He's dizzy already. This game is definitely not for kids. Yeah, I noticed this. I'm going for XP because I've still got a lot of upgrades to go in the upgrade menu. And now, sword in the spine. Then we should hurry to the gates. Okay, you broke my combo. You're going to pay for that. This guy looks like a true English man. Uh, I didn't mean the screaming, but... Uh, well... Like the physiognomy, he looks very British. His physiognomy and... Well, face, they are very British, except for the scars. You don't choose your scars. For, for heaven's sake, you just saw that. That was friendly fire. This guy died because of friendly fire. The barbarians are closing in on the palace gates. We need to get to them first and hold them back. That's not a very very solid defensive line. I mean one row 
Come on, one row of men. I guess I should head this way. Well, I guess that came just in time. This general is like an army. Just check this out, it's simply incredible. So he goes, the Briton. This is not what the Roman archers would have looked like. They were supposed to be in chainmail and they should have been Syriac looking. After all, the archers of Rome were drawn and uh, recruited from the Syrian region. The slingers from the Balearic Islands and Rhodes and so on, yes, Calvary from Germania. We have three auxiliary units in your command, Scorpios, archers and a catapult nest. Auxiliaries? They look like legionaries to me. Good. As many of them as possible. Where you scoundrel? For heaven's sake, they kill the centurion with a swing of the sword. I know uh, with arrow fire command. They killed the centurion. Who escaped? Oh, the fatty. For heaven's sake. And there he goes. This is probably the equivalent of a machine gun. This is how they went down in flames. Order the catapult nest to line up on the palace courtyard. Fire on my command. Come on, be ready. At last. Oh, I killed the comrade. Friendly fire. And this, this was brutal. Sir, we held them back. Only a handful managed to slip by us into the palace. Okay, the upgrade menu, okay, as you will. Then I'm going to get these things. And over with executions, we still, we have still got focus left. XP, damage, and um, that's it. And for skill upgrades, this focus thing to go. Is that a vista? It's a vista. And a lot of wounded soldiers at that. 
He's here. Help me. I command you. My emperor, the palace defenses have been breached. I'm not worried about the barbarians. I'm worried about him. We need to get you somewhere secure. Secure? Don't worry, secure from this, this, this demon. We need to get you to a safe place. Uh, your chambers? My chambers? No, no. The vault. This way. Come on. Oh, I, I've roared. The sprint button is, is simply F. Is that door closed? Well, because it is closed. Because the mechanisms prevent the door to open. Here comes a general! Well, I can say I'm only a Roman, but not a pig. The pigs you find on a farm or something, but no, no, not in the palace. That is brutal. No, you die today. This, I must, I must give this to them. It was a spectacular execution. Oh, I didn't see him coming. And he was right behind my back. Beg for mercy, Barbarian, you receive none. Any Barbarians left? No. There's something strange with this line of tar. There could be a fire. I'm just saying. Now you burn, Roman! Yeah, just saying. And why did you have, I mean, that Centurion who's burning and that Legionnaire, why did they have to sit on the line? Left shift, okay. Hey bro, won't you burn? The hammer has fallen. Here, quickly! Hey, hey, hey! Hammer to fall! Oh, oh come on! Come on! That's it. Quickly! Risen from the dead. I swear it. Damocles. Damocles is a myth. Only men kill men, my emperor. The gods may guide us, but they never interfere with the affairs of mortals. Oh? And what great oracle told you this, General? My father. Then your father was a beast. Those guys be believe that. Um, there is a god that they have created everything, but they don't interfere in the affairs of mortals. I pray to the gods that we will be. Then, you safe. and your father are these. We will be safe here, Emperor. As safe as we can be. Safe? Yes, safe, thank God. But you... What family? What's your name, soldier? Marius. But my name is of no import. But when... Well, you, story, you know when you've got... A yes. pantheon full of gods that are literally drinking, getting drunk, doing all My father told foolish things, then it's easier to become beast in this instance. 
You were fated to be an emperor, and I, a soldier. Well, that's true. My father's sense of honor drove him to follow a path that served the people. But what drove us to take the paths we did? What made us the men that we are today? My story begins some ten years past. Nice house you've got, Marius. Fit for a senator. Father. Marius? It's good to see you again. Well, how do I look? Every inch the Roman soldier. You look fine, my son. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. Do you know where you're to be posted? Alexandria. The most quiet ah, province. Alexandria, that's a quiet province. Your mother will be pleased. That I province with the, the least rebellions himself. ever, we'll believe me. Like you did for the Empire. All in good time, my son. All in good time. Remember, not all your enemies will be found on the battlefield. Father? Marius! Oh. Let me look at you. So handsome. Mother, please. Your sister is eager to see you. You will see her soon enough, my love. For now, I wish to speak with our son alone. Fine. I shall go and find your sister. Is there something troubling you, father? We will talk in good time. For now, let's see what you've learned. Hopefully, it. Ready yourself. First, break my guard. Come on, I already know how to break a guard. And again. Once more. That's it. Good work, my son. Now do it again, but this time strike me. Three times. One, two, break the guard again. More time. Because Leondius, Stop. believe me or not, Start again. is going to get back after Excellent two hits. Ready yourself. Okay. You have only a brief window to make the move. That's one. Focus, Marius. Timing is everything. Once more. Look for the opportunity. Try again. Not like that. You must time your strikes. Again. So the idea is to... Make Perfect. Leontis move like that. He's a great dancer after all. Now put your moves together. Combined attack. So a perfectly chained combo. Okay. Flow, Marius, flow. Wait for the right moment and strike. Again. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to skip this. Chain your moves together. The right move at the right time. Once more. Because, well, I already it's know how to fight and it's perfect. But proud day. The day a son first beats his father. He may have mastered the sword, but never rush to meet the world with it drawn. Always come open handed first. Walk with me, son. I've heard rumors there is great unrest in Rome. Yes, these are dangerous times we live in. This election could change. I'm giving this to you as your grandfather once gave it to me. When your time comes to command men of your own, think back on what I'm about to tell you. And a great legend will follow. 
that Damocles was a great warrior. A revered leader in a vast army. During a massive battle, his cowardly commanders abandoned him. When the slain Damocles arrived in the underworld, Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, was enraged at how the brave hero had been treated. She allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit, a ghostly, black-armored centurion, who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him. To this day, many commanders carry a dagger with the image of Damocles on the scabbard. This dagger reminds them to always look after their men, or risk the Black Centurion returning from the dead to avenge their selfish mistakes. Septima! Barbarians! Follow me! And so it begins. No, yeah, fair bonus damage. And that was it. This is how you correctly break a guard. Open it. Wait a mo. No, 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 no. This, this ain't good. No. 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 I will kill every last one of you. And you get what you deserve. Speak to me. I can see no Roman pigs around here. Only good Roman soldiers. I shall kill every last one of you. But you should have a lot of strength to do that. Cinder and fumes. Listen, they mean to kill us, Marius. We must get to the Senate House to save my people. Cinder and smoke. Cinder and ash. 
You can name it. Just you and me. Come on, Marius. So, so two hits. Oh, I did. I didn't have the opportunity to have an execution. Well, I've heard some barking, but I don't know whether that was from in-game or from the outside. I from outside my block of flats, I don't know. Well, if um, the barking came from in-game, it yeah, has been so be realistic. Run. And if it is realistic then, I'm glad. And thank you lady for the advice. It's strange that these guys, these British barbarians don't in fact in fact it's Britain barbarians because the British are the modern day the modern day guys and the Britons were the barbarians from back then. But anyway, it seems incredible how those Britons didn't even give a damn. Well, if they were just looking in the direction of the palace or the senatorial house or whatever that was. Marius, this way. Whoa, old man, you've got the moves. But I'm still better than you. Where? Where from? Oh, there he is. Okay, this is one for you. Oh, this is brutal. Straight into the train here. Come on, Leontius, lead the way. That legionary is having a hard time. Those legionaries, there are two. I must see to my people here, Marius. You must get Palatius in the amphitheater. So that's the direction. We'll protect your father. Now go. Okay, okay, okay. Where's, where's the, the direction? Oh, it's near the Colosseum, in fact. Now the game is getting a bit laggy. But I guess it's from all the details. I mean, I'm playing right now on the laptop. Well, it's a more powerful machine than my actual computer. Basically because I'm going to need all this powerful machinery as a computer engineering future student. The university year in Romania starts on the 1st of October. So, I'm going to... I can transport into another big city, the great computer and so go with the laptop but anyway this is just fit for rise but sometimes it's getting laggy plus the graphics are on very high very high okay it seems I need to save citizens so I need to so what's the, what's the deal 
Oh, so so I need to aim. Okay, it seems I need. It seems that the higher the difficulty level is, the more problems we have. You have with the uh, aiming time. Okay. Or this is simply my impression. Let's assess the casualties. Oh no. This is bad. Oh, uh, so I can activate the focus mode. So I'm going to activate focus and let's get an execution. I know. This is some amph huge amphitheater business. And take this. Well, this was the most pictish looking guy of all. Straight into the spike. This was incredible. Straight into the spike. Great thing, the fat guy for the save. In fact, I could use focus as well. As for you, let's try with a pilum. And I can replenish. Let's stop off. Marius, this way! Father! They're coming, Marius. They're hunting us. No way, I haven't noticed that. So this is how you throw a pilum very fast. Come on, let's execute this guy as well. Can they execute this guy? Oh yeah, I can do that. You've changed your enemy. Beautiful. Let's go. Well, the fat guy had some muscle, but well, not enough brains. We can't go this way, Marius. You'll have to go back and lower that bridge. Come on, climb. A lot of builders, a lot of citizens dead. Lower the bridge, Marius. A hell of a way to go. That's it, son. Keep going. To the fore, Marius. Don't stop for anything. Well, I really need to hurry. The barbarians might be massacring citizens in... No, I won't allow you to massacre any more citizens. You are dead. So 
certainly far more than you. That was a nasty hit. Let's stop off his health. Yeah, I can. I can see this while while you can. Before Marius kills you all. And that's it, a chopped off arm with surgical precision. With me. Haven't got much time. What did you time get over much. there? Further. Where's the upgrade? Okay, now we've got certainly a lot of things. So first of all, the legendary focus. And let's see for the executions what we can steal do double executions i'm going to buy that xp something less than 30,000. yeah that that's that and let's run oh jesus a lot of barbarians for certain over there That's it! That was one pilum to the head. And one pilum that rendered their shields useless. That's an awesome double execution. Surrender or die. Did I hear that right? Yeah, I heard that right, but the room never surrenders. Heavy attack and now for now for the win. Still a lot of barbarians to go. This means a lot of fighting. Well, probably they are Britons. Yeah, let's just kill them. Straight into the Traker and now let's deal with the Fatty. It seems that that leather and chainmail protection didn't work. There's this, there is, is this barbarian left? Okay.
How could have you fallen for this trick? It, it's not even a, a trick. It's a simple bell move. Come on. It's worse than I could have imagined. You must save Rome. Save it from. Save it from there. You bastards! You murdering barbarian bastards! I will do as you bid, Father. I will save Rome from them. I'll spill their blood. I'm Commander Vitalian of the 14th. I fought with your father. If it's blood you want, I promise I will give you as much as you can handle. You were the second, aren't you? Yes, sir. Not anymore. Welcome to the 14th flag. That's quite a welcome. The Italian oversaw the completion of my training and made good on his promise. As part of the 14th, I'd soon have all the blood I could ever want. The island of Britannia, that fetid lair at the edge of our empire, was home to the bastards that had slaughtered my family and led the very rebellion which had spewed onto the streets of Rome. My posting with the 14th would take us to these isles where I would wreak my revenge, crushing this insurrection. Well, I'm going to leave exactly this cutscene B and then I guess that this is the end of the first episode of the Rise and of Rome series for our channel. And the soundtrack is simply mesmerizing. As far as I can see, Marius is simply an Optio or something. And honestly, this looks just like the, the D-Day beach landing, except for the fact that this is the Dover beach landing. that in the next episode we are going to see the cutscene as well but let this be as a little trailer for what's coming next time I wonder how this guy doesn't drown his armor and see you next time guys.